some of the things that we've been doing is using it as a way for the students to present their work a little bit differently, particularly in English, like for writing, they have, instead of just writing us a piece of work, they have to maybe write it and present it as a movie. So at the moment they're doing a campaign to get everybody iPads because they've loved them so much. My name is Chai and this is an educational iPad campaign. Recently, chosen year four classes were given the opportunity to use iPads in this experiment for the iLearn team if iPads are great for education or not. So they're learning about persuasive text and they've had to create a persuasive text to persuade the iLearn team that everyone should get iPads because they're so good for their learning and they're creating a documentary to go with that. So they've had to write scripts and storyboard things and film it and then edit the filming. And I think it gives them a real world audience for their writing so they know that people are going to see it, that you're going to see it, that we're going to see it, that we might put on the website. So. I think having that real world audience encourages them to do a bit more and push themselves a little bit harder to make sure that it's perfect and they're using the things that they're supposed to use in a persuasive piece of writing. In maths using Explain Everything, they can capture their learning and then write around it all their reasoning behind that answer. So it's not just them you know, using a photo, taking a photo of their work, but it's them actually explaining. They can draw on it, they can add different images to it. And then throughout the week, they can go back to it and add on to that as well, which is really good to see. While we were studying 2D shapes and the children used uh, pages to be able to, um, well they drag the shapes from pages into it and then they describe the properties of the 2D shapes. They also uploaded those as PDFs to their share folder and I was able to have a look at night at what each child understands about different properties of 2D shapes and I could then plan my learning for tomorrow's lesson from there. Prior to that I was using book trailer to, we were summarising the pamphlet parables in religion and I found that really good because traditionally we'd write a recount of the Bible story but to put it into a book trailer we um, the first attempts they couldn't fit all their information in so we talked about um, how much time there was between um, the pictures they really had to be concise and precise but they had to get the message of the parable and as a summarizing tool uh, it's just unbelievable. I, I think summarising is one of the most hardest things to teach children, right up even to university level, and to think they could get that parable down into just, I don't know, 15 frames and six sentences was really good. In the early days we used to do a lot of airdropping because it was just simple to airdrop everything to me, but now we're using the Google Drive a lot more, so they, they know how to upload photos and video and how to condense it using iMovie and things like that. Like if they've done something and explain everything, they can send it over to iMovie and then they upload it so that I can see what they've been doing. Um, so they usually just share it with me on the Google Drive so that I can check back to it later. And just recently we started, like I started sending them comments back and forth after we had our maths day uh, last week commenting on their work as they were going and sending it back to them and then they were changing things and sending it back to me so that's been really good. I share the learning, um, um, I airdrop to my teacher, I flick to my teacher and I email to my teacher. We do the Apple TV and my iMovie's actually been on the, in the MPA um, interactive whiteboard projector and my iMovie, I work with a year three and they put it on there. It was pretty exciting because then everyone can see my work and it's not just like you just show one person at a time.